So, hello guys. Ang gagawin natin ngayon is mag-find tayo ng limit. So, marami tayong techniques sa pagkukuha ng limit. So, ngayon, ang i-introduce ko sa inyo is yung factoring and canceling. So, meron tayong mga different functions na sometimes is hindi natin makuha yung limits. So, hindi agad-agad na direct substitution. So, example na lang is sa ating nakikita ngayon. So, ang gagawin natin is if find natin yung limit ng x squared plus 2x minus 3 over x minus 1 as x approaches 1. So, first na step na gagawin natin is lagi natin i-check kung ang ating denominator is 0. So, once na ang denominator natin is 0, then yung limit natin is does not exist. A, magkakaroon tayo ng undefined. So, ang gagawin natin is for example, meron tayong any real number or natural number dito sa numerator natin and then i-check natin parati yung ating denominator. So, ang gagawin natin is 1 minus 1. So, napapansin nyo, since ang x natin is 1. So, napapansin nyo na any number yan, so, i-divide natin sa 1 minus 1. So, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, so mapapansin nyo na ang n divided by 0 is undefined. So, ibig sabihin yan na ang limit natin is does not exist. So, ngayon, meron tayong techniques which is yung factoring and canceling which is ituturo ko sa inyo para makuha natin yung limit ng ating function. So, paano yan nag-work? So, ang gagawin natin is ikukunin natin yung factor ng x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, paano natin kukunin yung factor niya? So, meron tayong dalawang parenthesis. So, x and x. Since, since ang ating degree polynomials is 2. So, gagawin natin is mag tayo ng dalawang numbers na once na pinag-multiply natin yun is ang product is negative 3. So, pwede 1 times 3. And then, napapansin nyo na ang ating mid middle term is positive 2. Napapansin nyo, positive 2 yun. So, kailangan yung 3, yung positive. And then, yung 1 natin is negative. So, once na pinag-multiply natin ng x minus 1 at saka x plus 3, ang makuha natin is x squared plus 2x minus 3. So, pwede nyo rin yan itry sa inyong mga papel. So, ngayon, ikakapin natin yung ating denominator, which is x minus 1. So, mapapansin nyo, pwede na natin i-cancel yung ating x minus 1 at saka x minus 1. Cancel and cancel. So, ang matitira sa ating function is x plus 3. So, pwede na natin i-take yung limit ng x plus 3 wherein ang ating x is 1. So, isa-substitute natin yung 1 sa x. So, 1 plus 3. So, ang ating limit is positive 4. So, ibig sabihin, ang limit ng x squared plus 2x minus 3 all over x minus 1 as x approaches 1 is positive 4. So, next is limit of x squared minus 25 all over x squared plus x minus 30 as x approaches 5. So, lagi natin i-check kung ang ating denominator is 0. So, once na 0 ang ating denominator, ang limit ng ating function is hindi nag-exist. So, gagamitin natin yan ng different techniques para ma-take natin yung limit. So, first is direct substitution. So, meron tayong n. So, wag muna natin pansinin yung numerator. So, mag-focus tayo sa denominator. So, ang x natin is 5. So, 5 is squared plus 5 minus 30. So, meron tayong n divided by, so 5 is squared is 25. Then, plus 5 minus 30. Napapansin nyo, ang 25 plus 5 minus 30 is 0. So, ang n divided by 0 is undefined, kaya 
ang limit atin is hindi nag-exist or does not exist. So, ngayon, gagamitin natin yung technique which is yung factoring and cancelling para makuha natin yung limit. Ang gagawin natin is yung x squared minus 25 all over x squared plus x minus 30 is ipapaktor natin yung numerator at saka denominator. And then, iti-check natin kung mayroon pang makakancel or wala. So, factor ng x squared minus 25 is x plus 5 times x minus 5. So, alam natin yung property na a plus b times a minus b is equivalent sa a squared minus b squared. So, napansin nyo na ang ating a is yung x and then yung b natin is yung 5. So, next step, so, yung nasa baba naman, which is yung x squared plus x minus 30. So, meron tayo dalawang x. So, mag-iisip tayo ng number na ang product niya is negative 30. And then, once na pinag-add natin is positive 1. So, ang naisip ko yan is yung 5 and 6. Since ang ating middle term is positive 1x, so, ang 6 natin ang positive and ang 5 natin is negative. So, once na pinag-multiply natin ang x minus 5 at x plus 6 is makukuha natin yung x squared plus x minus 30. So, ngayon, pwede na natin i-cancel yung x minus 5 and x minus 5. So, may e1 is x plus 5 all over x plus 6. Ngayon, i-check natin kung mag exist na ba yung ating limit. So, i-substitute natin yung 5 sa ating x. So, equals so 5 plus 5 divided by 5 plus 6. So, 5 plus 5 is positive 10 and 5 plus 6 is positive 11. So, therefore, meron tayong limit na 10 all over 11. So, once na pinaktor natin ang x squared minus 25 all over x squared plus x minus 30, is magkakamap tayo sa limit na positive 10 all over 11. So, ayan. So, yun po yung another example natin. As example, so calculate the limit. So, limit of x squared plus 4x minus 12 all over x minus 2 as x approaches positive 2. So, ang gagawin natin, i-check parate kung yung limit niya is nag-exist. So, once na nag-exist agad by direct substitution, so hindi na natin gagamitin yung factoring or cancelling. So, try natin. So, meron tayong n divided by so, ang x natin is 2. So, 2 minus 2. So, napansin nyo agad na ang limit niya is hindi nag exist Dahil ang m divided by 0 is undefined. So, limit does not exist. Ngayon, gagamitin natin ng factoring and cancelling. So, paano yan? So, ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung factor ng x squared plus 4x minus 12. So, meron tayo dalawang parenthesis, of course, then x and x. So, mag tayo ng dalawang numbers na once na pinag-multiply natin is negative 12 and ang sum nila is positive 4. Pwedeng 6 and 2. And napansin nyo, positive 4 yon, kaya yung 6 yung positive and yung 2 yung negative. And then, divided by x minus 2. So, agad-agad, pwede na natin i-cancel yung x minus 2 and x minus 2. Ang naiwan na lang is x plus 6. So, pwede na natin i-substitute yung x equals 2 sa ating function. So, equals 2 plus 6. 
So, meron tayong limit na positive 8. So, ang limit ng x squared plus 4x minus 12 divided by x minus 2 as x approaches 2 is positive 8. Using factoring and canceling. So, guys. Thank you for watching.